what's up guys my name is damilola globio i am a filmmaker a content creator a video editor and a youtuber gradually becoming a counselor right okay so you're welcome to lungish channel we are going to be talking about waiting in marriage Lungi sent me some questions and I am here to answer them. Okay, so I'll be looking into my journal. I'll be reading your questions and answering. Okay, let's get right into it, shall we? Okay, first question. How long have you been married? I've been married for five years plus. Uh, it was five years, April 6, 2024. Yeah. Second question. Today we are talking about waiting on God for an answer. What does that look like for you since you are trusting God to fall pregnant? It's not, it has not been easy, you know? And the truth is, we are all waiting for one thing or the other. Uh, some of us, children, some people, marriage, some people, relocation, some financial breakthrough, some promotion, whatever. As humans, we are, our needs are insatiable. So you just need something. You check it. The moment God answers one, you are already looking at the next available thing that you want. So we are all just waiting. It's just that it is more pronounced in some people's lives than the other. Yeah. So how has it been? It has not been easy, but like the first sentence says, I'm just trusting God. Some days are fine. Some days are not so fine. Some days when I sense that my period is coming, I feel sad. Yeah. And some days I just thank God. I thank God. Thank you that at least I am menstruating. Yeah. Some people are not even menstruating. Like they don't even have hope that they can get pregnant. But I am menstruating. I feel fine. I am fine. So yeah. That's how it has been so far. <laughs> Question three, how many kids would you like to have and what type of mother do you think you will be? Okay, so uh, my spouse and I, we've discussed about this. We want a boy and a girl, preferably twins, a boy first and a girl second. <laughs> However, God wants it. And if it's one, one, a boy first and a girl second, yeah yeah i know some people and and that they are healthy please <laughs> i know some people will be like oh just anything is fine yes i know any anything but god says we should ask it shall be given unto us right so why shouldn't i use my plain check or a blank check to ask my father what i want so yeah i want a boy and a girl and what kind of mother do i think i will be i think i'll be a pretty amazing mom <laughs> yes because the things i know now i didn't know five years ago and i have grown i am a better i know god more yeah and god is teaching me how to be a mother i don't know how to explain that but god is really teaching me and i am preparing to bring my children up in the way of the lord how god is going is is how god wants me to bring them up right so yeah I, I will be an, an amazing mom. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm, I'm going to tell them all the things my mom didn't tell me. All the things they didn't teach us. You know, growing up, I'm going to tell them as early as possible so that they will be prepared. Because nobody told me that I'm going to be waiting in marriage. Nobody, nobody said that. Nobody explained that to me. You know, you just go married and you're supposed to just fall pregnant. When you have sex with your spouse but it's not happening so what went wrong until i started looking for answers you know and uh, asking god questions and all of that yeah so i'm gonna teach my children everything <laughs> question four what have you done in your own strength to conceive and what do you expect from god well i just I believe that God is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all I think or ask according to the power that works in me. And the scripture says that none was made barren in the land and that I will bring forth my fruits in due time, in due season, in my season. 
So yeah, I uh, the, a lot of people have said so many things. You know, when you are waiting, people get to advise you a lot. <laughs> Uh, especially if it is pronounced, you know, like waiting for a child or waiting to get married. People will advise you a lot. So we've been advised to do IUI, intrauterine insemination, IVF, you know, and all of that. But we've gone to the hospital and then we are fine. So I'm just trusting God. I know that God is not a man that he should lie. He said we should be fruitful and multiply. So... I'm going to be fruitful in my season. <laughs> okay. So number five, what is waiting like? I think I've talked about it. <clears throat> waiting is not easy. Everyone is, is waiting for one thing or the other. And we don't like waiting, right? You know, you planned your life, you know, oh, by this age, I want to finish school. By this age, I want to get married. At this age, I want to have children. At this age... I want to be done and then just start living my life back. You get, but then God's ways are not our ways. <laughs> God works in mysterious ways. You will be shocked <laughs> at how God is going to reroute your life. Yeah. So waiting is hard. Like I said before, sometimes is is you feel good. Sometimes you don't feel too good. But I think. I'm just trusting God. <laughs> Number six, what encouragement do you have for couples waiting to God on God to conceive? Just trust God. Just trust God because there's nothing if you don't have anybody else to depend on. Is it different? You know, waiting is different. Waiting on God is different. If you are waiting on man, you know that man is going to come through at a particular time. You know. If I'm waiting on you to give me a certain amount of money, and we've had that discussion, you will tell me that, hey, Danny, I'm going to give you this money on the 30th of this month. So don't worry. I'll do my best to get the money across to you. You would, you would, I know that, oh, you've given me a time, and I will be looking forward to the 30th to get the money, right? But with God, it's different. Because you don't know. You don't know. <laughs> you just know that God is going to do what God is going to do. You don't know when God is going to do what God said he will do. So you just have to hold on to his words. I mean, that's what I do. I just hold on to God's word. I'm just happy. I try to find happiness regardless of what it is I'm going through. I'm not even going through anything. I'm not because I don't want to sound cliche, you know. But with or without the children, I am complete in Christ. My children do not complete me. Do you get my point? So God does. And I have God. I'm complete in Christ. Right? I know it's, it's a beautiful thing to have children. They add color, you know, to your life. You are called the names of your children and then you see your offspring growing and both all of you are growing together in your home you know it's it's a joyful thing motherhood is beautiful yeah but with or without it i am damilola glovium i am complete yes when they come they will come but when it's time for them to come they will come right so just hold on to god's word just find joy just focus on your work whatever it is that gives you joy and happiness some days you will feel it <laughs> some days will be really really bad that everybody around you will be given birth getting pregnant and you'll be asking yourself why can't my body do this why but <laughs> you just have to trust god it's god that can do it it is god even if you go out to try other means like IVF and all of those it's still god i've seen and heard stories of people doing multiple IVFs that failed yeah so if god is saying that it's not IVF it, the IVF will not work you just end up spending you just end up spending so much money you get so just trust god just, just that's what i do my encouragement god i always say to you just keep on trusting god Yes, and 
it will come through for all of us eventually <laughs> what scripture do you encourage yourself with ah i think i've said so many <laughs> god is not a man that he should lie no one is made barren in the land god is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all i think or ask according to the power that works in me i can do all things through christ who strengthens me i can bring forth my children i carry my children to term you know so many scriptures <laughs> so many that are leaving my head right now in due time i would i would bring forth my fruit you know he said we should go into the world to multiply i will multiply i will be fruitful these are the things that i say to myself i will be fruitful and in all ramifications it's not even just on child childbearing or children you know i will be fruitful in all areas of my life i will be fruitful that when the children eventually come they are adding colors not that oh so now you have the children so so what have you been doing all these years that you've been waiting you're not doing anything you were just there sad angry no when they come you're like ah no 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 <laughs> mommy has been working <laughs> yeah so that's it what are some things people say to waiting couples that are not nice to hear when waiting ah uh, people say a lot of things people say a lot of things but i don't let them get to me they'll be like okay there's one that someone said one time the person commented on one of my posts and the person said why is she always happy does she not think does she not think of what she's going through you know and i'll be i was like what am I going through? <laughs> I am not sick. I am not bedridden. You know, I am healthy. I am fine. I'm just waiting on God for my children and they will come. That doesn't make me handicapped or I don't know. I don't know how people think. People say a lot of nasty things to people that are waiting, you know, and it's very funny. You know, I, I just see them as people that are not well brought up <laughs> because it's none of your business. It is none of your business. It is none of your business. If I'm not talking to you about it, if some people, you, they don't even know you and they say nasty things about you. So that is very funny because I won't say things about somebody I do not know <laughs> because we are not friends. I don't even know you. I don't know what you're going through. So what, what, what gives me the effrontery to say things to you? But people are ill-mannered. They just open their mouth and say things like, when are you going to give birth? Like, time is going. I don't, I, don't, I don't pay attention to them. They just say nasty things and I don't care. They are not my God. Yeah, that's what I say to them. You are not my God. Yeah, you, don't, you did not create me right so that's it <laughs> society treats people who have not yet fallen pregnant is there pressure or judgment how do you deal with it i don't pay attention to them i don't pay attention to them i do not pay attention I, I don't i do not in fact when i'm outside and i see someone with a baby i'm not i don't i don't you know I'm not so forward to say, can I carry your baby before you would start looking at me some sort of way. You know, people, people are very judgmental, even from the way they react without them speaking. You know that mm, this person is just, this person is judgmental. So I will not even ask, oh, you have a beautiful baby. Oh, if you are my friend, that's a different ball game. But if we are not close, if I just stay, I just, I just, I just stay. I did my day. <laughs> so yeah, that's it. Really enjoying this year. And we are already done. <laughs> would you be okay if you were unable to fall pregnant naturally? And would you consider other options such as adoption, etc.? Oh well. Ah. I've never really thought about that. Honestly. I've never thought about it, but I know. I know deep down in my heart that I will have children. I will. I will have children. I will have my children eventually. And I'm I'm starting to be emotional. I'm tissue or handkerchief. Jesus. Louis, see what you've done to me. 
I'm sorry, you guys. I'm a happy baby. <laughs> oh my God. I'm sorry. Okay, this is why I don't like thinking about this. <laughs> I'm sorry. I will have my babies. I will have my children eventually, right? But let's just see. No, I don't want to see. Let's just see. <laughs> I will have my children eventually, Lungi. <laughs> and Lungi's subscribers, <laughs> I will have my children. And if you are waiting to, you will have your children eventually, right? So, would you consider other options such as adoption? I've not thought about it. I don't know. I've not thought about it. And I, I know that adoption is quite, I don't know, rigorous in Nigeria. I mean, I don't know. I don't even, I've not heard any story of seeing or seeing anyone in Nigeria adopting. Or maybe I don't even know about them. Yeah, I've not done my research, but. I don't really know how it goes. I've not really put my mind to that. Yeah. So yeah, that's it. So these are the questions. I was really enjoying them. <laughs> okay. So yeah, that's it. That's it. Please like, subscribe to Lungi's channel. Yeah. For more beautiful content. I, I hope I come back again. Yeah. And I want to say a quick prayer to everyone that is waiting for one thing or the other that god has not forgotten you he can never ever forget you a mother will never forget her children or her crying children never god has not forgotten you he will remember you very soon and you will carry your children the world will celebrate you will we all be celebrated in jesus name keep the faith keep being happy Keep trusting God. God loves you, you know, and you will share your testimonies very soon in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for coming on Lungi's channel. See you some other time. My name is Damilola Gloville. Bye.